I'm Vanessa Ruck. I am back for the final round of the UK Defender Series in Scotland. You can probably tell by what I'm wearing that it's a little bit cold. Okay, well, it is cold. You can see my breath, but just not at this angle. Great story, Vanessa. Anyway, I'm going to be getting into the Defender. This is a probably the top event to finish the UK series round with. It's the Scottish Hill Rally, and it's going to be, by the sounds of it, the most challenging one I've done yet. We don't have pace notes, which means I haven't got Chris, my navigator, telling me exactly what's coming up. It's going to be really varied and pretty technical terrain. We've got night stages as well as day stages. So we are going to be reading the terrain as quickly as we can, riding into it blind and doing the best we can. Now, if you watched my video last time I was in Scotland, might have possibly maybe had a little lie down. Um, I still remember the slow motion feeling when I was in that. And yeah, I put the car on the side if the lie down wasn't obvious. And I remember going over in slow motion and on a motorbike, you just kind of move your body weight and pick it upright. And it was like, oh, 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 what do we do now? And Chris was like, nothing, we get out of the car. But that is not gonna happen again this weekend. I have learned from it. I am building my driving database. So yeah, the cars are all ready. We even have Christmas lights. Bowler have gone full on and we've got spaghetti bolognese in the bivouac for dinner tonight. So tomorrow morning is gonna be race. Let's do this. Right, we have fast track jump to the morning. I know it's still dark and I'm still in my uh, cozy thing. That is because it is dark and it is raining, but it's really early in the morning. So the cars are all ready to go uh, and it's talking about food again. I think one of my biggest priorities in life is just revolves around food. But Bo always have street feast in the bivouac, so I'm going to go get myself a bacon bun. Uh, big boys there. It's so epic. We've got eight defenders racing this event and it's going to be pretty tight. There's a lot of reading the terrain required on this event because it is not pace notes which puts a lot more onus onto the driver picking the correct lines and reading what the corners are doing. And I'm hoping that maybe my motorcycle background is gonna give me a little bit of support with that because on a motorbike, you have to read the lines and if you don't read the lines, it spits you out for breakfast and you feel it. So right, let's go get some bacon. some of the more aggressive corners that we can expect. It's quite a zoomed out map, which means it doesn't really give too many clues, but there are some clues. And we're gonna be trying to work as a team to read the terrain. So I've got a little bit more to think about because I'm actually moving the car, which gives Chris a couple of extra moments in the brain to maybe see clues in the tree lines or the camera of the hills and look ahead and then throw additional information that is worth highlighting to me to help us as a team keep it not in the ditch. We've been told that the ditches are inviting, <laughs> but we mustn't accept the invite. Uh, the trees want you for dinner, but we're not hungry. <laughs> but it's gonna be a good race. We got this. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit smug on the start line here because it's absolutely chucking it down. It's pretty cold. It's not as cold as it could be, for this time of year in Scotland, but it isn't warm. But in the Defender, we have all of the electrics you'd get in a Land Rover. So we've got heating and automatic wipers. So when we hit big puddles, <laughs> he's gonna sort it out for us. Hello, morning. Just checking your wristbands, please. Wristbands, yes, I can deploy a wristband. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's great, thank you very much. Thank you, cool, we're ready to go. Start lines up in front. Five, four,
Rising, we're back in after stage one, two and three and I was pre-warned that this was going to be probably one of my favourite events and I uh, somehow, however this far into the season, I'm still not nailed these hands devices. Maybe I'll just talk to you with my helmet on. I'll just talk to you with my helmet on. Um, that was amazing. There was loads of fast track where you could tell if you lost the clean line, it was going to eat you, pull you into the banks. But like every, I don't know, 100 metres, they're just like, cool, let's just angle you off into the ditch, the woods, the quarry, up and over stuff. And you're properly having to look at where the line is. But the defenders and a lot of these cars are quite big nose wise. So you're like trying to see over your bonnet as you're cresting over something completely blind. Unbelievable what this car has sucked up out there. Not a single fault. The wipers will automatically go when we hit water. Uh, Chris was helping me read the lines. Buzzing. Now every cloud has a silver lining. And I'm gonna say this really quietly. A competitor out there unfortunately had an issue which caused a bit of an issue of a car's behind. And we managed to get there just at the right time to get round them, which might help our time overall. <laughs> I haven't looked at the results, but I'm, um, I'm sneakily thinking that maybe we're not doing too badly and considering I'm new to this and a lot of the guys racing in the Defender Series have got some serious experience, I'm going to take that little win. <laughs> right, I'm going to get myself a coffee and get my head out of my helmet. One day I'm going to be less of a two-year-old and be able to get it off really easily. There we go, let you go. Right at the end of talking, I get it off. Awesome. Right, coffee time and a snack. And then we go out again. We've got another, there's eight stages today and we've done three. Quick maths, we've got that left to go. Woo! Guys have literally jumped on Big Boy. He hasn't faulted on that whole three stages. Absolutely incredible. There was one bit where I was like, Chris, he smells really hot. And he's like, that's the amount of water and mud. There's being thrown at us and it's all burning off, so don't panic. I'm like, cool, okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, but he hasn't faulted at all. I can't explain what it's like in these tight quarries. You're in first gear, so it's really slow. And you're like peeping over the top of something, completely blind of what's going over. And you can just go over and then it's suddenly like a turn to the side and you're just like, just follow, ah, reading it as you go. It's so good. Everyone said I was going to love this event. I love this event. After the last race, I thought I should show you. I've got some fresh rubber on and my goodness, the grip and the sort of terrain of how slippy it is today. I'm very grateful to having some fresh uh, AF Goodridge monster traction. It's uh, about to go into the next stage. We had a little bit of a stage hold up because I'm presuming there was an issue. We've had quite a few cars breaking down or rolling, including one of the defenders, but all the drivers are all good. And it's looking like the stage has started up again. So I'm gonna get in the car and we will be carrying on with the day. excited about going in the car wash. We're in the car wash, but it's a bowler style car wash. Doo -doo. John on the big uh -huh. Yeah, look at John with his little hose. 
<laughs> oh, we're done. I gotta go. We gotta go. I'm going. We're going. We're being hustled. <laughs> we're in the service again for the night stage. The massive laser headlights are going on. We're going back out at 4:10, so it's not going to be quite dark for the next stage. But we've got a pretty short service between this and then the night stages. That is going to make a massive difference to my ability to race at night. Now, a little bit of an update. We have eight defenders. Unfortunately, two of them have had a role. I'm going to discreetly try and uh, show you one of them because um, it's got some love marks. Let's just say that. One of them, poor Yorma, is still out there. He's got to be recovered. We've got a few things like cable tie reconstructions on the front of bumpers. It's really brutal and aggressive out there. Thankfully, I've been picking some good lines and Big Boy is completely unhurt so far. I'm absolutely loving. Everybody told me this is gonna be my favorite. It is phenomenal. So the Scottish Borders Hill Rally. If you're into cars and racing, this is one to do. And of course you can get a bowler yourself and do this whole series. And it comes with all of these chaos Right, so it's the orange one here. We're gonna really discreetly just wander over here. Nothing to see, nothing to see here. This side looks pretty good. Looks like a normal, normal defender. But if we come to the front, oh, there's a, there's a crowd of people. We're just gonna casually walk this way to the toilets. <laughs> Hello, you having fun in the toilet? It's amazing. <laughs> That's it's a, a wobbly toilet as well, isn't it? It's a wobbly toilet. It's quite an experience. It's called the Icelandic toilet at the moment. It mi mimics earthquakes whilst you're in the thunder box. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Okay. You can see. <laughs> I've been spotted. <laughs> Retract! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> good service we have hoops cleaning the headlights so that we've got more power pow, pow. it is getting dark the iphone can see more light than my eyes so it doesn't look dark yet but it is thanks sir no problem how's hoops doing epic epic it's good gone into the night stages now there's just something about in the woods that you know you, you, you should be in bed do you know what i mean <laughs> but when you can see lights all through the woods you get I don't know, you get red mist. It's, uh, it's cool, it's a good time. Scotland's the one. It's pretty appropriate that right now your face is actually glowing red from the headlight in front of us. How do so I you look like the red mist. Quite exactly. a good light. Yeah. It's, uh, you're right, we should be in bed. <laughs> no, we should be out here racing cars in the woods. <laughs> Two 
two rolls and two just in ditches and I'm going to do my best to make sure that we are not doing the same. It's Chris coming back in. Well done. We have light. Well done. Right, let's race. couple of extra complexities that today is thrown at us and that is the lovely weather it has been very wet and rainy and as we went into the night stages tonight you've got the combination of darkness and rain and you get kind of this reflection on the raindrops in front of you you got a bit of fog which just all adds to how focused you need to be keeping the car going Again though, it's all part of building our driver database. It's exactly why we're here, doing it with Bola. It's just awesome, I'm buzzing. You can probably guess it is still raining up here in Scotland. Big boy is pristine. Thankfully, I've had zero damage, not even to his sump underneath. That dent there wasn't me, that was someone else another time. Yorma's car has been rebuilt, which is absolutely incredible. The guys worked until 3 a.m. getting him back together, amazing. Uh, it's got new wings, new lights, windscreen, all kinds of stuff. That's a committed team and a well-organized supply team. But we are going to get back out there. It's day two up in Scotland. We're about to face the final four stages. The Borola team have a load of experience all around us. And I got some pretty solid advice from John at the start of this one. And that is that this terrain is ruthless it will eat up cars and it is definitely doing that and his advice was just come home clean maybe take 10 percent off really look at your line and i'm just going to continue to do that today i don't want to jinx too much but at the moment i'm sitting second overall in the bowlers i have now earned my national race license so what does that mean you have to do a certain amount of uk based races to get your national license and that then enables you to go and do international races and if we think about the bowler defender series it's all about building you up as a rally driver so it means this year uk rounds next year european rounds and then we're going to be doing some serious driving back of the car you probably get a clue from what he's doing I uh, might have just clipped my rear tire on this massive rock that was on a tight left hand corner coming out of a quarry area I just nipped it the BF Goodridge tires have been absolute workhorses all year I haven't had a single puncture so it's about time uh, now you're probably thinking well you're a little princess aren't you sat in the car while Chris is out there in the rain replacing it that is because the car is in boiler mode. Now, the Defender rally car is based on a Land Rover Defender. It is a model that comes straight out of the Land Rover factory. And then Bowler do a whole load of things to the car. You can check out my other video on what they actually do to turn it into a rally car. But the electrics are all in there. Now, Land Rover have designed it to do 
as much as it possibly can to go through all these terrains and conditions and help the driver out. Bowler have basically put it into bowler mode, which shuts all of that electronic stuff off and turns it into a raw 300 brake horsepower rally machine. So if we want to put it into the right mode, put handbrake on, we'd have to take it out of bowler mode, which doesn't take long, but it's a whole series of like, pat your head and rub your tummy kind of thing. So I'm just staying in the car with my foot on the brake, which means he can uh, change the tire. So he is out there changing the tire like a hero while I have my foot on the brake. And we are currently doing it in dead time because then we won't lose any time or penalties. We've actually got the stage in front of us backed up. I don't know if you can see it up there, but you can see all the competitors. Where's my hand? Here, all lined up. So obviously someone's had an issue on the stage. As I've said before, this rally is uh, eating cars and it's eating our tire, but we're all good. We're in the game and yeah, I just nipped it. Good learning curve for me. I've been pretty hot on my lines, but just messed that by like four inches three inches that's all it was we're all good we carry a spare bar will have all the equipment in the back so you've got a little power tool you've got a jack and i've got a really handy navigator we're in the game So we saw something flapping over the front of the bonnet slightly and we were like, I think it's the uh, front bumper. Yeah, I lost a little bit of trim on the front and the laser light, so possibly a little bit in trouble. But I didn't hit anything. It got swept off by a deep puddle, so I'm thinking it maybe possibly wasn't fully on. I don't know, but anyway. It's all good. We took one hit to the underside. You can see a little bit of a dent underneath. Um, the guys are giving them a service and a once over. We've got a one hour service. And then we'll be heading out for the last two stages. That last stage is a really long one. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty tight, but I just want to bring it home safe. So I've actually backed off the speed and uh, just focusing on making sure I finish. <laughs> out the ditch pretty effortlessly actually 
uh, whereas boiler mode it wouldn't because everything spins up and then we lost quite a few minutes trying to get it back into bowler mode because it's this whole rub your tummy kind of situation and then the next quarry we got a tire uh, the rocks are properly exposed out there so we we took a um, front left tire and then had to limp limp to the finish so not ideal but we're still in um, we're gonna get the new tire on and then uh, we'll keep going <sighs> we've got round two I'm back in the car. Chris is jacking it up. Over there. And I got my foot on the brake. Another another tire. Woo! Another BF Goodridge all terrain. Eats the dust. Or gets chewed by a rock. It's probably more fitting. We have smiles on our faces, which means we've made it through the final time check. We're now in Park Fermi. Is it, is it Park Fermi? Yeah, we're in yeah. Park Fermi now. So until the final results are released, there's like a period where the cars are kept in a Park Fermi so that if there's anyone objects, they can inspect yeah. the cars or something. Yeah. Something like that. So we're just hanging out. Um, but drum roll we are looking at the live results obviously it's not the final final because of the penalty blah 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 but it's looking like we are third place podium. third place ah! <laughs> heck yes we've made it on the podium in the last round of the uk defender series i am mad after that i was That's hoping enough. for sixth or seventh place if you look at the drivers that i'm up against in the defenders and our kind of paper cv of experience so I'm really chuffed with yeah. that. I know I didn't necessarily do the end totally tidily. I'll tell you a little bit more about the ditch when I get out of the car and show you the front bumper. Well, it's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. No. We basically, I'll just tell you now. So we're on a straight. <laughs> I know I crashed it on a straight. <laughs> but if you go off the clean line by even like three or six inches, yeah. it just sucks you in and I just didn't have the strength on the wheel once I was going and then I kind of not really froze up but I kind of froze up and hit the brake a little bit more than I should because then you're going into a ditch and there was an end to the ditch yeah, wasn't there, was, there? Yeah. if there hadn't, hadn't been an end maybe I could have tried to not ride it out yeah, but maybe, yeah. anyway we're then been hard in the head. yeah Saturday. no tree stumps or rocks yeah. so we're then in the ditch and you're kind of not over, but we were we were properly yeah, over proper on, on a line on us so. Yeah, kind of like yeah. <laughs> but this is a Land Rover, and they are monsters at off road. So we just put it into full technology, locking differentials, feeling traction, and the car just kind of yeah. g -g 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 built found traction. I had to use the front wheels a little bit to get the wheels to dig in, and we kind of climbed up out of this ditch pulled off the track, reversed back in past the ditch, carried on going and pulled off into the tape to put it back into bowler mode, which is where we lost a big chunk big, of time yes, actually. Yeah. We yeah. just, there's a, there's a whole sheet here, um, sorry, this thing, this whole sheet here of the instructions on how to put it into bowler mode. And it, it is kind of like rubbing your head and patting your tummy and sticking <laughs> your tummy out. Shall I just get out and show them what happened to the front bumper? Just as well. All right, okay, right. Please, can you hold that there? I'm gonna climb out. Uh, oh, we've got a shot glass. They hadn't got any whiskey though. Right, oh, we're kind of on the side of the track, so I've got to clamber out of a heavy door. Right, okay, let's go look at the car. I haven't really properly looked at it either, so moment of truth. How bad is it? Can you tell me? Do I need to freak out? Ah, oh, that's not so bad. So the bumper, the bumper is a little bit damaged, but Big Boy is Bowler's kind of workhorse kind of demo car. And the front bumper was in a pretty bad way already. Not from me. Um, so it's just gonna prompt them to put a new one on, right? <laughs> oh, Bowler, I'm really sorry. But the rest of him, he looks so pretty. And there's no, 
there's nothing down the side or anything he's an absolute incredible car i have to say that this is definitely my favorite event in the uk round it just feels like so much driving time and i don't know the it's just been amazing high five dude third place ah! <laughs> I have made it to the finish line of what I would say is the car destroyer round. <laughs> the carnage out there. Unfortunately, big boy got a little bit of that carnage. Uh, first thing this morning, we lost part of the front bumper and our laser bar, which is a little bit not ideal, but anyway, replaceable. And then we've had two punctures today, so I've definitely really re-emphasized the learning of putting where your tries are is really really important one of them was a, a rock that you know i deserved that puncture it just went and the, the second one i don't really know what it hit it was so dug out by those last couple of rounds that it was just very aggressive on the cars i also possibly maybe learned that you can crash in a straight line it wasn't really a crash but if you go off the clean line by 30 centimeters even that it can just suck you in and it was a fast straight and i just pulled slightly off the clean line and just got sucked into the ditch and then we were suddenly not on our side in the ditch i'll be honest mojo was possibly a little bit kind of hit by that at that point it was like right i've got to make the finish line rein it in a little bit more and keep it safe and then got another puncture anyway the the short story of this long story is that it was an absolutely epic event i loved it the car has been a dream as always bowler have kept me going in every service with food with the car the weather's actually i think we i think this is sunshine that we've actually got right now and i'm in part fermi i think i might be on the podium as well stay tuned so third overall in our class for the Boulder defender challenge series is vanessa ruck and chris coming